The role of drawing and the work of Monir uh, is, is extremely important and it's something that we wanted to highlight in this exhibition. Um, her drawings up until now uh, have been relatively unknown. Uh, most of the drawings, uh, if not all of the drawings in this exhibition, actually come from Monir's collection. Among the remarkable things about the drawings is that uh, as with all drawing, they reveal a sense of immediacy in the artist's process and a certain freedom, a playfulness in her use of line and her use of color. So particularly in the early geometric drawings, she's uh, working according to a particular linear graphic system, which is in fact the basis of of her designs and the way she would develop the designs for the mirror reliefs. These drawings are also remarkable because they're very simple. They're made with felt tip pen on paper. Um, in uh, drawings from uh, the end of the 70s and the early 80s, those that are presented here in the exhibition, we also have an opportunity to uh, witness or interpret certainly an existential state of mind when Monir was uh, found herself away from Iran, away from her studio, away from her work and her ability to make work. And these uh, drawings are much more immediate, they're much more subjective in nature. Many of them were in fact made, according to Monir, while she was watching news of Iran on the television. So they're her kind of television drawings. Monir herself has said of drawing that ever since she was a young girl, she was always, she had the capacity to draw from nature and to draw easily. And we see this capacity that runs through uh, the, this body of work. I think in the later drawings, which are rather remarkable because they've been made when between the age of ages of 80 and 90, um, Monier shows a tremendous exuberance um, in terms of the colour, in terms of composition, um, and in terms of a balance between uh, rigor and complete freedom of line and they're very beautiful things and very impactful uh, works to be able to see.